Welcome to the EA Sports 2010 FIFA World Cup penalty kick taking basics tutorial. Let's go over everything you need to know to be a prolific scorer from the penalty spot. The two most important decisions you will need to make as you prepare for a penalty kick are where you want to place your shot and how much power you want to get behind it. First, let's take a look at the power. To power up a shot and start the run up, press and hold the circle button. The faster your shot is, the more difficult it will be for the goalkeeper to read the trajectory and react to the shot. Fast shots also have the advantage of making it harder for the goalkeeper to keep the ball out of the net, even if they manage to get a hand on it. The more power you put behind a shot, the more error it will have though, so be careful when deciding to blast one, as overpowering can result in missing the goal altogether. Instead, you can choose to press and hold the R1 button when powering up to take a finesse shot with the inside of your foot. Finesse shots are not as powerful as laces, but will have less error. But simply learning how to control the power of your shot will not be enough to beat the best goalkeepers in the world. In order to be a prolific scorer from the penalty spot, you'll need to learn how to place your shot away from the keeper's reach. Let's look at how to place your shot using the new completely analog aiming system. By default, you start aiming at the middle of the goal. From the moment you press the circle button to start powering up for a shot, you can hold the left stick to move the aim anywhere inside the goal. The longer you hold the left stick in any particular direction, the further your shot will go in that direction. Be careful with how long you hold the left stick, as letting go too soon will result in a shot closer to the middle of the goal, and holding it for too long will cause you to miss the goal altogether. Make sure you practice some penalties by going into practice mode before going into a match. You will be able to toggle the aiming system on and off by pressing the L2 button. This will reveal how fast the aim moves so you get familiar with the new analog system. There is no bigger stage in football than the FIFA World Cup. Even the most masterful strikers of the ball have succumbed to the pressure and tension of taking a penalty kick when the eyes of the entire world and the hopes of a nation are resting on their shoulders. So, no matter how much you practice your penalty kicks, it will count for nothing if you're not able to compose yourself before starting your run towards the ball. Just beneath the power bar, you will see the new composure meter for penalty kicks. The green and yellow sections are your composed sections, while the red part of the bar represents the not composed section. To take the kick accurately, you must stop the oscillating needle inside the composed section. If you miss, the further you are from the middle of the bar, the more error your shot will have. The needle will stop the moment you press the circle button to start powering up for a shot. The size of the sections is tied to the player's penalties attribute. Successful players from the penalty spot will have bigger composed sections, giving you a greater sweet spot and therefore more room for error. The speed of the needle will depend on a variety of factors, including game difficulty, how critical the penalty is and how far into the tournament you've gone.